Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, come on back tomorrow. We're going to food and wine. For real. For real, for real. Actually, like we're going. We're, Fanny we're pack. eating all day. We have our, our bamboo utensils. Yeah. Picking up the family. A little bit of rain, but it actually is like below 80 degrees. Hopefully it'll make for a really it's nice 79, day. It's 79, which I know is literally <laughs> below 80 degrees. But we like, will take what we can right, get. But like, when you say that, you think I'm like 73, 74, it is 79.9, below 80. <laughs> Realize that it's Kim's first time in Epcot ever. Here are our friends. Does this man look like me? This is my brother. You've seen him a couple times. There's a lot today though. We're getting fisherman's pie. We're not doing all vegan today. He he would never be vegan. Not a chance. But he's getting the fisherman's pie because I said he has to. Oh my goodness, look at all this yummy food. Pierogi. This the is trickle. the lobster mac and cheese Take it and the fisherman's off. pie. So yummy. How is the lobster mac? So good. So good. Have you tried anything yet? Oh. Everything? So good. Perfect. When you eat a fisherman's pie, you move like a fish. It is a big day because the fish and chips shop is back open. It has not been open. And I know we don't eat it, but it's still a big deal just knowing in my heart that it's open and people are enjoying it. Makes me so happy. We're coming up on Brazil. We decided to divide and conquer again. Michael and I are in line to get the pork belly and cheese bread and the girls are getting escargot. Escargot. Because these goons are going to try escargot. I'm no, not. Debatable. I think you're going to Like Sarah said, it's going to be garlic and salty. I'm going to give it a shot. It's windy. It's drizzly. But they cannot stop the cheese bread. We also got this is a crispy pork belly. It's melting Michael's hand. We got the escargot at France. It's very, it's very interesting. I don't, I don't know. Kim yeah. says it's good. Just do Garlicky. It all in one. Put the, put, do the whole thing. I feel like I should just do the whole it's thing. Just do the whole thing. It'll, be, you'll get more of the pastry then too, rather than the, the mushy consistency. Why don't you do it with him? Yeah, come on. Are you cold? It's like a shot. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to do the whole thing, guys. <laughs> Cheers. That, 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 don't get excited about it. It's delicious. If you, would, if you didn't know, yeah, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. There was escargot in it. It's just fancy. Yeah. Just fancy. Oh. Just fancy garlic. Not garlic. So bad. All right, I'm getting a baguette and waters for us before we continue. But look at all these. They're still going strong here in France. But look at all those baguettes. Look at all those baguettes. And I'm getting waters. Here, when have we gotten this last? A long time. Mm, feels so good. The germinators have started. We're in America and they got the cream cheese or the carrot cake and the lobster roll. We're passing this food, but we're feeling good. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just like so content right now. You don't want to overdo it. Right. But you're going to get more, right? Yeah. Ooh, here we go! I got a fancy dream. She's on vacation. She's on vacation. The American Pavilion. What was it called? Berry Sparkler. Berry Sparkler. It's white or it's white juice, white grape juice, strawberries, peach, blackberry, soda water. You got a nice vision. And I got a Spotes Shiner Ruby Red Bird Grapefruit Lager. And I'm gonna drink this and then when I get to Germany, I'm gonna get a Schopenhauer Grapefruit City. She said that this one has more alcohol. And less grapefruity, like lot, which I thought my brother liked that. So like when we were going to Germany, I'm like grapefruit, grapefruit. He just said he doesn't like grapefruit. What are we Is gonna it do in Germany? Grapefruit, yes. Germany, yes. Oh really? We demand a sit. What did you sit. get? Same as Peter. Delicious. Yeah. I like it a lot. And you got the so cigar you, city. I, I, I got the Julio ale grapefruit. thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Spain booth is open. This has not been open yet this season. Spanish style paella. What the heck? 
That's cool. It looks pretty decent. What is it? It's, I don't even know if I'm going to eat it because it's all the meat and the shrimp. Is it shrimp a la mode? And meat and seasoned rice. Try it. Here's another normal menu change. There used to be noodle gratin, like baked mac and cheese at just the quick service in Germany back here. But it is not on the menu. Only pretzels as for food. You I'm can't, so sorry. You can't see my frowning face, but since we were going to stop the, all the veganism today, we were going to get noodle gratin from Germany, but they're not doing it right now. Noodle gratin. The next delicious stop is the vegan corn slaw quinoa beans from the outpost. So good. So delicious. It's cold, Peter. The Alps are open. And they are. Here is the menu. Kim got, what well, one? These are chicken pot stickers, right? Yeah, chicken dumplings. Chicken dumplings. And then the bao bun with Mongolian beef. Mm -hmm. Smells good. I don't know if you can see it from here. There's literally a line to get into the Mexico Pavilion because it must be at capacity. So there's more rain coming. So I think we're gonna head to like the DVC Lounge Land Pavilion so we can do some rides, show them the lounge. Um, it's kind of a bummer. We were gonna get avocado margaritas. Well, they were. It's pouring and the princesses are out, but they're covered by the little carriage. Kim got a blood orange margarita with tahini on the edge, which apparently is just a perfect topper. It's literally so good. Woo. Oh no, we're hiding from the rain, but Mickey and Minnie are on their the little car and they are not covered in this rain. Oh no. They're being so cheerful about it though. Poor oh, Mickey and Minnie, is that funny? <laughs> oh. They're still dancing and cheering away. Hiding from the rain in the DVC lounge, but no sue. But it's these two goons' first time here. Joey's gonna go swimming. Something else. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Now, here's a real open house. Come on in. And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. All right, a little update. We're checking out Soren. Ever since it started raining, it jumped up to a 60 minute wait. And like, I just didn't feel like looking at the queue line with the social distance aspect. Oh, maybe it is. No, but we're still gonna. Right, right, right. I felt like it wasn't truly 60 minutes. So we were like, you know what? Worst case is we'll walk in, see where the line stops and see. And right as we were walking in, it actually changed to 25. So not bad for the only check, the second attraction we'll be doing today. Yeah. And last. We realized Sarah didn't have her phone and we think we left it on Figment, so. They're in line for Soren and I'm going to go over to Journey of Imagination and see if they have it. Hope, fingers crossed they do. They should. They usually do a good job at clearing the rides after each go. So hopefully cast member at the front of the attraction can just like radio or ask or something. Hello and welcome to Soren. I love the Imagination Institute because they also have Sarah's phone. Hey, so, looking good, but I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna try to get back on Soren. I'm just gonna wait for them outside of it. I don't wanna push through the crowds of families. I'll just let them enjoy it and I'll wait for them. Did you vlog about me losing my phone? No, yes. Okay, <laughs> well, we got my phone back. Soren was awesome. We left the park. We're at Rock and, and now Bruce. we're at Rock and Brews, which is like in the Margaritaville on 192 in Kissimmee. We might get burgers, they have a veggie burger. You're getting a burger? I might get a veggie burger, I don't know. There's, it's a really big menu. 
Uh, well, look at this. We got some delicious jalapeno poppers. I don't know why they won't take that. I'm gonna eat one of those. I'm, I don't know if they're hot or not, but I'm gonna eat one. We got a spicy fried chicken sandwich. Just went for it today. I got a veggie burger. Peter did go with the veggie burger, but he totally forgot that there would be cheese on it. But fish tacos, burger with the fried egg. That is was Peter's go-to. Gastro pub. Um, the clock says 11.17, but my heart says 5 a.m. Today's date is September 20th. The message is by Alice Morse Earl, the Earl of Sandwich. Time waits for no man. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Ooh, yes. So Sarah's going to edit tonight, and I'm going to play with Eve. She's... <laughs> laying over there like she's <laughs> exhausted herself. If she wants to play, I'm going to play with her while Sarah edits. I have my Swish and Blick shirt on because our friends made a big announcement I today. even asked them if we could talk about it in yesterday's vlog that posted today because today was the official launch. Mm -hmm. If you are a Harry Potter fan, leave, please stop joking. If you are a Harry Potter fan and you're a podcast fan, even if you're not a podcast fan but you're a Harry Potter fan, go check out our friend's who are now exclusively on Target. Spotify. Spotify. Yes. Is Swish and Flick, a Harry Potter podcast. Yes. They analyze every chapter. So week you can week. start at the beginning and then you can read along with them. Um, read a chapter, listen to the, the episode. Um, but it's just our awesome. friends Megan and Katie Petrus mm -hmm. with, with two of their family members. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a really good podcast and so good that they've wrote in a business contract with Spotify yeah, to be exclusive with them. It's huge a huge deal for news. them. We're so, very proud of them. Yes, we're proud and like we told them today it's cool that we get to watch have them a front, flourish. Front row seat. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's why I'm wearing my shirt. So go, go check them out. And if you like uh, Harry Potter. Support them. We're gonna get to get in so we can have another park day tomorrow. We're going to studios. Fingers crossed we got on Rise of Resistance. I haven't been on it like I think this year. I don't know if we've been on there in January, February. Um, but they've never been on it. Yeah. And I'm also hoping that we're going to get on Millennium Falcon, which I've only been on once. And I was an My engineer. My priority is, like, I really want to walk up reservation to sci-fi. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. we're hoping. Um, so, yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.